hello everyone so from now what we are going to do we are going to solve top 50 array questions about, uh, as per geeks for kids so these are the top 50 array questions as per geeks for kids so we are going to solve these all question one by one so the first question is find the peak element which is not smaller than its neighbor here we have the first question of uh, this uh, 50 co 50 questions find a peak element which is not a smaller than its neighbor so let's try to solve this. So this is the question. Okay. So let's uh, first of all let's try to understand this question. What uh, what this question is trying to tell us? Okay. So uh, let's try to understand this question. Okay. So what what we have here? Let's suppose we have uh, a, a array like uh, five, six. Seven, five, four, three. Okay, so uh, let's assume this is a question. Okay, and this is the array, and uh, we have to find an element which is not smaller than its neighbors. Like uh, in this um, array, this seven is the example. Seven is not a smaller than six. Okay, seven is not a smaller than six. Seven is not a smaller than five. Okay, so seven is the peak element of this array okay seven is the peak element of this array and let's, let's suppose we have a, another um, array like six five four three so what is the peak element in uh, this so in this uh, a peak element would be six because uh, six is not a smaller than its neighbor the uh, neighbor of six is five and which is not a smaller okay six is not a smaller than five okay and uh, let's suppose we have another uh, array like five three, two, and uh, okay, and this is not a good, good example. Let's uh, take another example, like a two, three, five, seven. Okay, so in this, uh, in this array, in this array, the peak element would be seven. So why? Because seven is not a smaller than its neighbor. Like five is its neighbor, and five uh, and seven is not a smaller than five. So we have to find out a, a element which is not a smaller than its uh, neighbor. So what does it mean? Either it should be greater than or equal to. Okay, or greater than or equal to. So it should be like this. One second should be like this ai should be a smaller than or equal to a i minus one or greater than or equal to sorry greater than and equal to a i plus one so this, uh, this should be fulfilled to find out the peak element okay we have to find out peak element so uh, let's uh, try, uh, try to uh, code this. Okay, so uh, how we are going to uh, uh, code this? Okay, so first uh, let's uh, try to take an example, uh, example. Two, three, five, three, one. Okay, so let's uh, uh, let's imagine, let's assume this is a array which we have given. Okay, so what we are going to do? We first of all we are going to check that uh, is array the uh, length of the array is equal to one because if there is only one element in the array so uh, what what we are going to do we are going, just going to return zero because there is only one element uh, in the error so we have to return the uh, index of uh, peak element so we can zero uh, we can return, return the zero uh, index okay and then we have to check that if uh, the n is not two is not one if it is two Okay, the, and there is a possibility then there can be only two elements in the array. So we have to check if uh, n is two. So we have to uh, return either zero or one. If uh, if a zeroth element, if zeroth, zeroth element is greater than the uh, first element, then we are going to return zero. And if first element is greater than the uh, zeroth element, then we are going to return zero. And then we are what we are going to do, we are going to check for the last elements okay we are going to check for a0 and a n minus 1 okay so if a0 is greater 
and then or equal to a one. What we are going to uh, uh, do? We are going to return zero. Okay. We are. I'm going to erase this. Okay. Now I'm erasing this. Okay. And if uh, n minus one is greater greater than or equal to a n minus two, then what we are going to do? We are going to return n minus one uh, uh, as answer because uh, the last element is the peak element. And if uh, these all are not true, so what we are going to do? We are going to run a loop for the these element because we have checked for this and we have checked for this. Now we have to run a loop for all the middle element and we have to find out and that if a i is greater than or equal to a i minus one or if it is greater than or equal to and it is greater than or equal to a i plus one so we have to check out uh, this in the uh, middle and if we, we will find any element so we are going to return i which is the uh, index of that element okay so let's go to the uh, get to the go to the git for git and uh, write just write the code for this okay okay so here we are in the git for this and uh, from, uh, here from here we are going to write the code so so first of all and, and let's uh, check out that if and is equal to one. Then what we are going to do? We are going to return zero. Okay. So we are returning zero. Okay. And if uh, let's say n is equal to equal to two, then what we are going to do? We are going to check uh, which which index is greater okay so i'm uh, using a another end for it okay. okay not c i'm i'm writing this code in java okay okay i have to write the code again fine so if n is equal to equal to one then we are returning zero Okay, no problem in that. And let's see if n is equal to equal to like two, then we, what we are doing, we are uh, checking which one is greater. Okay, so we are doing like this ARR zero, ARR zero is greater than ARR one. Okay. And if it is, then uh, what what I'm doing? I'm uh, returning either zero or one. Fine. And then what I'm going to do? I'm going to the else part. Okay. If uh, n is not zero, if n is not one, or if n is not two, then what we have to do? We have to check in the uh, first n. Uh, first and last element. So if n uh, here are zero is greater than or equal to here are one. So what we are going to do? We are going to return zero. Okay. And uh, if here are n minus one, n minus one is uh, greater than or equal to error in minus two. So what we are going to do? We are going to return n minus one, okay? We are going to return n minus one, fine, okay? And uh, if both of the cases are not true, then what we are, we are going to do? We, are, we have to run a loop, okay? We have to run a loop for uh, uh, for uh, middle elements, okay. So let's run a loop for that. So we, we have to start from one, not from zero, because we have already checked the zeroth element, okay. 
and we are going to uh, run this to n minus two. Okay, uh, less than n minus one. Okay, and then uh, we have we will, we are going to just increase the i. Okay, and then we are going to check that if here are i is greater than and equal to here are i plus one. And we and and okay because both of the conditions should be fulfilled. So ARR i should be greater than or equal to ARR i minus one. If both of the conditions are fulfilled, then we uh, we are what we are going to do. We are going to return the i. Return the i. That's it. And at last, uh, if uh, all the cases uh, are not fulfilled, then uh, just return zero. Just return zero. So let's try to uh, run this code. Okay, so uh, when we are running this code, then uh, answer is uh, correct. We are the our output is one and uh, the expected out output is also one. So let's try to submit this code and let's see that uh, if it is getting accepted or not. Okay, this, okay, this uh, test case is not getting accepted. Let's try to check what is the exact issue we are facing, okay? Okay. Okay, so the so which, which we are getting, we are not uh, returning the x. We have to return the x because we have calculated the x. Okay, and we are we have calculated which element is greater. If n is two, then which element is uh, greater? We have calculated that, but we are not returning that. So we have to re return that as well, right? So after doing this, we are uh, running the code. So let's see if it is getting accepted or not. It's gonna take some time. Yeah, so we are reading this code and uh, we can see that our expected output is getting fulfilled. Our output is the one and expected output is also one. So let's try to submit this code and let's see that uh, if it is getting accepted or not. So yeah, we can see that uh, it's getting accepted. Okay, so this is how we, uh, we can uh, solve this question. and. Uh, Next, we are going to solve, solve is find the minimum and maximum element in the array. 